Okay, I will start the recording. This is the Spatial Voyagers team showing their project See Through Sound. How do we get started? Well, this is a WebXR app, so we're going to open up the MetaQuest browser. I've already pre filled in my username. I'm going to scroll down a little bit to KFAR, use that password. Next, I'm going to sign in. And this is important so that I can record my own messages and share them with other people. Now let's see the first instructions we need to move to the start location. It's actually a physical space in the room that we're using to orient the space so that we correctly place elements from one user session to another. So now we're gonna click the start button to enter AR mode. Then we're going to localize our scene and soon we see disks from other users in the natural space of the room. And these disks can hold messages that are geospatially relevant. Here's one that is from Kelly saying this was an awesome experience. Here's one from Ronnie saying, hello world. Now this one's a good example where we click on a disk right near the max occupancy and Steve tells us a joke about the 200,000 people that can fit in here. After the recording's done, you can see that it places an automatic transcription text so that I can see it even if I'm hard of hearing. Now maybe it's time for me to record something. I'm going to look around. Where would be a good place to record something? Maybe the clock. What time is it? Well, it's time for a hackathon. This is the Meta AWS Hackathon, and maybe we'll win. After 10 seconds, it turns blue to indicate it's uploading. And then after it's sent to the server, it turns purple. It takes a minute or two for the transcription to happen offline. And then when a user comes back, they click on the clock. They can hear the message I just left. And that is the quick demo of see-through sounds.